I've collected some stock data, stock price data for Apple computers using Yahoo Finance and I want to show you how you can use regression to forecast the future price and we're going to do that by using regression analysis. Now the first thing we want to do is just plot the data. So I'm going to highlight the, these I'm going to hold the control shift and then hit the down arrow key and it highlights everything. And let me scroll up here because it's going to put the graph roughly where I am. And I'm going to say insert. And here is a scatter plot. So I click that on. Let me just move that out of the way. And you can see the plot of the data over time. In fact, let me make this. That's a little bit smaller, so it sort of fits in here a little bit better. And you can see it's, you know, a little bit of an upward trend. There was a little down period here, but pretty much an upward trend from um, the beginning of January of 2023, okay, through the um, end of December. So let's see if we can run a regression here. Now we could go to data and there we could run a regression by putting this in as the X variable and this in as the Y variable. But an easier way is just to click quick layout. Now it's very small, it's hard to see, but right here there's a little FX on it, which means function. If you click that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you the regression estimates. It's going to give you the beta, which is 0.1373 times x, minus the, and this is going to be the y-intercept term, 6020.2. So that's our trend line there. And let's see how good a job it does at predicting. So what are we going to do? We're going to forecast by taking the slope times the date and then minus that intercept term. So I'm going to say um, equals minus actually equals 0.1373 times our x minus 60 20.2 and it gives us a date we're gonna to have to reformat this just hit the the um, comma here and we get 198.53 and we just want to copy this down now you could just drag and drop but I actually learned this trick by just watching somebody you can just move over here where it becomes a box and just double click and now it just copied the formula down to each cell so you can see that it's not perfect. Let's see how much it missed by each time. So what we really want is we want the absolute error term. Because sometimes you're going to be too high, sometimes you're going to be too low. It looks like actually um, here it's projecting higher prices um, basically everywhere. Because it thinks you have this upward trend. Alright, so what's the absolute um, error? It's going to be the forecast let me say, I'm going to use the absolute value sign, the absolute value of the forecast minus the price. And again, I'm just going to copy this formula down. And let me just reformat that so it all looks sort of the same. And we can calculate things like the error squared which would equal this squared and again too many decimal places let's just reduce that and we'll just copy that down and we can also look at the percentage error which is just be the error here divided by the actual close.
Now let's make that a percentage. We'll expand it a couple of decimal places. And again, we'll just double click there to copy it down. And what you can do is you can, you know, get some some descriptive statistics if you'd like. Let's see if I can slide this out of the way a little bit. We could get the average here. So this would be the average um, error term or mean squared error. copied it over here as well. Let me just copy it all the way across. And again, I'm going to make this a percentage here. So what we see is, is that we tend to be off by about $13 and with about a 7% error rate. Okay. Not great, but if you're trying to predict the stock price, this is, may not be an unreasonable way to do it. Very simple, just to look at the trend. Um, if you have more information, you can certainly use things like uh, you know earnings information and other types of information, but those don't come out on a daily basis. So this is kind of a, a neat way to, let me just highlight that to um, calculate or try and forecast a stock price by looking at a trend. Now notice that I used a different uh, period of data. I used January to the end of December of 2023 to estimate the equation and then I tried to forecast on the following month. You know when you have the data here used in your estimation. Remember, if you're trying to predict, you know, prices next month, you don't have those prices yet. You know, it's also going to bias your estimate. So what you want to do is is estimate this and then see how it forecasts out of sample. So, you know, just a simple approach for um, doing some forecasting. And again, you can use the plot to get an understanding of what you have. It has the trend line in here, it's this dotted line, it's a little bit hard to see, but it actually estimated that, and this is the equation it estimated.